gentleman from Washington is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I shall consume. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, now we get to the real bill. If the Republicans can't repeal the Affordable Care Act, they're going to try and rot it from the inside. The last few days, my Republican colleagues have been spinning this vote as a great populist effort to help the middle class. They explain that even with these repeals, we can keep all the things we like, covering our kids till age 26, prescription drug help, banning the denial of coverage for those with pre-existing conditions. And legally, they aren't wrong. They're not lying. They're just confusing the people. These laws will still be in place. But realistically, in the real world in which we live, it will be hard to cover your kids and subsidize drugs if the insurance industry no longer exists in this country. Without the healthy consumers, the mandate guarantees only the sickest and the costliest will be left, and prices will skyrocket. We have a letter from the Congressional Budget Office that says that if we delay this, you can expect that the prices of insurance will go up and less people will be covered. I ask unanimous consent to enter this letter into the record. Without objection. The reason you don't see any fear flying is because the insurance industry knows this isn't going anywhere. This is just a lot of political theater. In Washington, we tried this. In 1993, the Democrats put in universal coverage and guaranteed issue. Everybody had a mandate and you, had, you were going to get it. The insurance companies couldn't do otherwise. Two years later, the Republicans repealed the guaranteed mandate, the mandate, leaving the insurance industry covering the sickest in the state of Washington. Within three years, there were no individual policies sold in the state of Washington. We have run this game once in Washington state, and you are coming out here today and running it again. It's been tried in other states. You cannot have universal coverage without a mandate. You cannot have insurance reform that guarantees everybody insurance. Now, this isn't prophecy on my part. This has happened. A lot of what you hear about around here is that people are talking, well, gee, we got these, these terrible insurance rates going up. They're not going up in Washington in our exchange. They're not going up in, Co in Oregon in the exchange. They're not going up in California in the exchange. Today, New York reports they're not going up in New York. Anybody who stands out here and says insurance rates are out of sight simply is misleading the people. We ought to vote no on this bill. And I reserve the balance of my time.